Canaletto was an Italian painter from the 18th century who specialized in landscape art, especially cityscapes or veduta Venice, Rome, and London. He was part of the Rococo art movement, whose style was elaborate and full of creative flourishes. He painted with great accuracy and detail, often using a camera obscura to capture the perspective and light effects of his scenes. He also blended real and imaginary elements in some of his works, creating capricci or veduti di that showed his artistic vision and skill. Some examples of his artwork are Vegeta Dita with Roman ruins 1720-21. This painting shows a fictional landscape with ancient Roman monuments in various states of decay. Canaletto used his knowledge of classical architecture and his imagination to create a dramatic and harmonious composition. The entrance to the Grand Canal, Venice C. 1730. This painting shows a realistic view of one of the most famous landmarks of Venice. The entrance to the Grand Canal. Canaletto depicted the busy activity of boats, people, and buildings with meticulous detail and vivid colors. He also used atmospheric effects to create a sense of depth and distance. The Stonemason's Yard C. 1725. This painting shows a less glamorous but more intimate aspect of Venetian life. The work of the stonemasons in a courtyard near the Grand Canal. Canaletto painted this scene from nature capturing the contrast between the bright sunlight and the dark shadows, and the variety of expressions and gestures of the workers and bystanders. Warwick Castle 174849, this painting shows one of Canaletto's views of England, where he worked for about 10 years. He painted Warwick Castle, a medieval fortress, from a high vantage point, showing its imposing structure and its surroundings. He also added some imaginary elements, such as a large crowd of people and a horse race in the foreground. Capriccio, the horses of San Marco in the Piazza Sea. 1743. This painting shows an example of Canaletto's Capricci, or imaginary views. He moved the famous bronze horses from the facade of San Marco to the Piazza, creating a striking contrast between the ancient sculptures and the modern architecture. He also added some whimsical details, such as a monkey riding one of the horses and a man climbing a ladder to touch another one. 